everybody. Ladies and germs, my name is Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and um, exciting stuff is going on right now as I speak. Um, right now, Sony is having a, um, a conference or an event at GDC, and they, and they have announced a virtual reality headset for the PlayStation 4, and right now it is called Project Morpheus. Um, right now we still don't know too much about it, but they did talk about, uh, but Sony has talked about their plans and their um, ideas about virtual reality, and I'm looking at a live blog on IGN, and I'm just going to go over what they have been talking about, what they've been posting, and give my thoughts on each one, so I hope this video isn't too long. <clears throat> Here we go. So, um, so when we go back down to the beginning here, I'm just scrolling through this on my phone. Um, okay, so uh, Shuhei Yoshida took the stage. He is the president of Roblox Studios at Sony Computer Entertainment, and he said that virtual reality is the next innovation for PlayStation that may well shape the future of games. It's, it's true, when you look at the Oculus Rift right now and you see the buzz and the momentum that that has created, you can tell, VR, it. You see, before VR was always considered a gimmick, but right now, we don't know. So, it says here, um, VR has been a dream of many game creators since the computer game was invented. Many of us at PlayStation have dreamed about VR, and the uh, original prototype was <clears throat> a virtual reality headset and it had PlayStation Move controllers duct taped onto it. Don't know if you can see that. Where's my... Shit. Right there. This is the most unprofessional video ever. Uh, and then they showed God of War VR uh, from the original PS2 game. And then the next demo they're going to show after that would be Datura which was a PSN game on the PS3 being played on VR and <coughs> and right now it is white white and gray and has a blue light around it and they say that it's going to have a seamless integration with the PlayStation camera in DualShock 4 and the Move and they say that uh, in Shuhei Yoshida said he has an enormous amount of respect for VR companies such as Oculus. And they said that VR is about is the feeling of being somewhere else. And he said that um, that uh, that what's his name? Richard Marks, um, who works at R&D for Sony, um, he's currently working on a VR project with NASA for a Mar of a Mars demo. That sounds pretty interesting to me. And um, and they say that the six principles of VR are sight, sound, tracking, control, ease of use, and content. So they said for sight, you want to achieve presence. High, high resolution, high frame rate, display, specialized optics. And they say, in terms of sound, that Sony's got a heritage of sound. Of course, we all know that Sony's been making stereo systems and home theater systems and lots of that stuff for years, you know. And of course, they came up with the Walkman. And they said tracking is what makes VR what it is. And tracking puts you in the place. And the next thing is control. 
and they say that they are currently working on it, but they said that the sensors on the DualShock 4 and the light bar on the DualShock 4 can be used together with Morpheus, and the PS Move also plays a part in it. And they want very ease of use for the headset. You pick it up, you put it on, you're in, put it down, you're out. That's how smooth they want this, want this to be. And they say that they announced um, they announced Project Morpheus at GDC to show that it's not just about what Sony's bringing, but they're trying to show this to other developers so that they can work with other third parties to help bring VR experiences to Project Morpheus. And so far they have said Unity, Havoc, Wise, Gigantic, Autodesk, uh, Silicon Studios, Epic Games, Bitscoid, Crytek are all on board with Project Morpheus. VR is a very new medium. So there's almost no rules. And they also said the player will be in the game and not observing it. And they said that it doesn't have to be only first person. Third person games can also work in VR as well. And let's see. Presence is the killer feature. They have said that presence is fragile and precious. Don't break it. They said low latency, high frame rates, calibration, Rendering clean images and 3D audio really is essential to the experience. And they said that ultra-realism doesn't work very well for VR. They say they want to avoid aliasing, uh, post-processing, and all, and all of that stuff. And they also said that VR could also be used in driving, which makes us think, could Drive Club be one of the first things that works with Project Morpheus, seems like it for me. And they say that game, that game content are just one way of VR, but they also said that it is the best way. And they say that VR can be used in multiplayer. And they say it's going to be very comfortable for everyone. And they say that you can even wear glasses with it. Thank God, because without these, I can't see shit. And, let's see. Oh, and they also mentioned motion sickness. Having a 1080p display, a field of view above 90 degrees. So right now, this is all on... This is all on using a... This is all based on using technology that's built in with the PlayStation 4, like I said before, DualShock 4, motion tracking using PS Move, PlayStation Camera, all of that, and in the event they've gone into so much detail, I can't, I tried covering some of it, but I can't go ev across every little thing they said. Uh, you can catch a live blog that's going on right now. Uh, if you go on the at PlayStation on Twitter or look at IGN's live blog and GameSpot's live blog and Polygon's live blog, lots of people are live blogging the event. I really recommend reading it if you want to know every single juicy detail. So yeah, Sony has announced Project Morpheus. It is a virtual reality headset for the PS4 and it is very exciting. So far it's in the prototype stage, but just knowing what could build off of this is a very exciting thing and I can't wait to see what this will come, what this will bring into the future. Alright, that's all I have that's all I can cover right now. But I will see you next time. My name is Mr. Gaming Guitarist. Thank you very much for watching. <clears throat>